So our next patient presents with a history of pain on the left side when walking. The sonographer starts out with uh, ABIs after resting for approximately 10 to 15 minutes. And you can already see from these uh, pressures that are taken at the ankles bilaterally what you may expect to see here you have somewhat normal pressures or actually very normal pressures with the on the right side versus what we see the pressures are on the left decreased so we begin our exam you'll notice the 2d and color image of the right common femoral and here's your spectral doppler And we can move through the right side pretty quickly considering that we already have seen what the ankle pressures are. We should expect to see a fairly normal duplex of the right lower extremity. You'll notice here all the waveforms appear triphasic. All the way to the ankle. And now as we come to the left side, we notice the waveforms are vastly different from what was seen on the right. And this here is a common femoral. We can see not only is the waveform at normal, the velocity is fairly low. So we, so we see a delay in upstroke and downstroke. However, there's still a clear window, spectral window. And as we move along, we can see the 2D image, which here we could have probably cleaned up the uh, 2D image by decreasing the overall gain or the uh, TGCs in this area, just so we can see a clear lumen through the uh, common femoral. But nonetheless, the color fills completely and shows uh, there's no obstruction and moving distally we have the profunda and the proximal SFA mid and distal velocities are remaining fairly consistent waveforms are remaining fairly consistent nice open window however again delayed upstroke and um, downstroke popliteal, perineal, and PTAs. And as we get to the ankle, we, or the top of the foot, we can see that there's a lot of spectral broadening. And uh, almost the TARDIS parvus waveform here. So distally, the limb is uh, begging for increased flow. So we don't appear, we don't see any, um, if we go back, we don't see any areas of focal stenosis. So the next thing to do is go upstream and check out the aorta just to see if the obstruction, maybe there's a abdominal aortic aneurysm, uh, maybe there's an aneurysm in one of the common iliacs or an obstruction there. So you'll want to investigate further. Now, as we see here, the aorta distally is shaded out from gas. But we really shouldn't be thinking an aneurysm. If you really think about it, what did we see on the right side? The right side showed perfectly triphasic waveforms. However, the left side at the common femoral, the waveforms were monophasic. So we should suspect there's an obstruction of the common iliac artery on the left, or even the external iliac artery. So we go to the external iliac, and we see still an abnormal waveform the color here is pretty laminar, 
So we don't see any areas of a tight stenosis or uh, color brewery or anything like that. But the waveform is still abnormal. We attempt to see the common iliac, but again, it's shaded out by gas. So we can't see the distal aorta, we can't see the common iliac, but we already decided that these findings won't be because of an aneurysm or an abnormality of the aorta, but rather it's likely a, an abnormality uh, within the common iliac artery on the left side. So we can move on. The sonographer was able to obtain an image of the mid aorta, showing there's no aneurysm at that level. And the flow through the aorta here looks fairly normal. We also take a look at the right CIA on and show that uh, pretty normal waveform. We've got a sharp upstroke, rapid downstroke, and reversal of flow. So what can we conclude from all of this? We should think that there is uh, significant stenosis on the left side, the left common iliac, and we can intelligently say that uh, that's where the obstruction is and further imaging is likely warranted. Um, in order to make a complete and final diagnosis. And the key is to put all the pieces together. We started with abnormal ankle pressures and uh, continued on seeing the abnormal waveforms of the common femoral on the left side. So all of these uh, correlate to uh, common iliac or aortoiliac obstruction. And again, as I said, further imaging, correlative imaging would be warranted.